Hi, in today's video I wanted to talk about a new app that's just currently going through the approval process to get uh, added natively into the QNAP App Center uh, for both QTS and QUTS Hero. Um, this is called uh, My Media for Amazon Alexa. Um, so that's the, uh, the website I've got on screen. It tells you a bit about the app. Um, if you wanted to try this out before it's officially added into the App Center, you can go to their website, which is just mymediaalexa.com. Um, and there is a download button there on the main page that you can go to. So if they click download, it will scroll right to the bottom and you can see all the different options. And right at the bottom, you've got one with a QNAP NAS Q package. Um, so to add this to your NAS, you will simply go across to your NAS. So here's just a TVS-H1288X running QUTS Hero. Uh, you would go into the App Center, and at the top right, uh, you've got a plus symbol. So you can click on this, and it hovers over there, and it says Install Manually. So when you're there, you would just browse to the file that you've downloaded from the uh, the My Media Alexa uh, website, and it's, it's going to allow you to install the app. You'll get a couple of warnings that it's a third-party app and not digitally signed. Um, that's what you'll get for now if you wanted to be uh, if you wanted to try this app early. Um, if you wanted to wait till it's a, a full blown QNAP app, then it will be in the app sensor uh, fairly shortly. Uh, so once it's installed, you do get an app. So it's on my second page here. You've got the My Media for Alexa, um, and really the only setup step for it when you first open it is to link it to your Amazon account. So it will take you off to uh, an Amazon sort of API authentication. Uh, you type your email address and your password for your Amazon account and it will log you in um, so that you can now uh, share what the, the media server is doing on the QNAP um, so that uh, the Alexa service can, can interact with it. Uh, so that's really how it works. Um, the, the main thing is this app, it's just installing a tiny media server onto the QNAP um, and then you tell it which directories you want it to monitor. So if we, we click on this and open it up, it's going to open up the media server that's uh, sort of the dashboard and management interface uh, for the My Media app. Um, so it's got some suggestions for voice commands based off what it's actually got um, um, downloaded into it uh, or folders it's monitoring. So it's watching a folder right now. There's just one folder I've got it watching, which is just the samples folder with the three sample files. And you get a little summary on the left here. So if I go down to say the song section, we can see the uh, royalty free samples that it's uh, automatically downloaded for me to test with here so I'll try this Josh Woodward song here in a moment and give you a, an idea of how you would instruct it to play that but this file um, is stored directly in the NAS um, so if we go to the watch folder section we can see here that it's in the share the ZFS folders because it's QUTS hero and it's just the sample media that's there uh, once you've uh, actually used Alexa to control um, some media from here, they will appear in the Alexa devices section on the left. Um, so they'll normally come up as uh, Alexa device one, something like that. Um, you can click on it and change each one. So my tip would be to try one at a time, then come here and you can rename it to something that's a bit more obvious. Initially, I had it set to... I played both devices before I came here and it was just um, Alexa device one and two. I had no idea which was, say, my phone or my Echo Show device. Um, so this was uh, a way I would do in the future would be play with one, come here, rename it because you know which one you've done it with and, and then do the next one and show it up in, in, in here so you can know which one is which and you can also delete them from the list if you want to. Um, so if you wanted to add a new watch folder, you can just click the add folder and browse to um, a multimedia folder on your NAS where your entire music collection is um, so that you can play it. And there's just a couple of settings and different options. Um, now I'm using the seven day free trial here. Um, so the app itself um, does uh, require a license for you to, to use it. Um, there is a reason for that. Obviously, it is linked off to the uh, the Amazon Alexa service in the, in the back end. So there are some cloud costs by the developer here. Um, I think the costs are quite reasonable for a, a full year. So the, the free one is exactly the same as the basic membership here. Um, but for £4.50 for a year, I think that's fairly reasonable for this functionality, considering um, Amazon Music uh, used to let you use your own media, but now it doesn't. Um, so this is a good option to, to go with instead. Um, but you will require a basic cost. But as I say, I am using the free account and you can see the differences here. Um, so if you wanted it to work with more than a couple of family share accounts, you can obviously go up the levels to advanced or premium. Um, if you want to use this on more than a single uh, device, so this works obviously on QNAPs or your computers, uh, you could obviously jump up to uh, different levels of membership as well to have them all um, sort of integrated into the into the same license. 
Okay, so if we were to go uh, back to the uh, the main console here, um, we can see some information about the NAS it's hosted on there on the left hand side. And we've just got uh, the idea of things that I have played with in the past. So I did a little experimenting. I asked for the full name of the artist and I also just asked uh, for the name, um, the first name of the artist. And as it's there's only one Josh, one uh, Josh artist on this uh, device, um, it was fairly obvious which one to pick. So when you go into Ask It, you will get a pop up on the uh, the screen here about which one's playing it. Um, so what I can do is I can go to um, my phone. So I'll cut that video in hopefully here uh, so that you can see what's happening um, on the phone device when I'm in the Alexa app um, asking for a device. So I'm just going to um, ask for um, just to play a song by Josh. So the, the command here would be for um, Alexa, ask uh, my media. That's the sort of start that you will say. Alexa, ask my media and then ask it what you would like to play. So here I'll do that now. Alexa, ask my media to play songs by Josh. Okay, so now it's playing on my uh, phone. I've got it turned down so it doesn't cut into the audio, but I can hear it here. It says music by Josh Woodward, uh, Woodward uh, playing music by Josh Woodward from your my media. Uh, collection and we can see up here that it's streaming the track um, to the Craig iPhone so you can see uh, it's fairly transparent about what is playing and what's doing what um, as it's happening so it's very easy to see and we can see that that new request has come in here as well um, so that it's being played uh, so it's a really useful um, application if you if you did need to use it it's an incredibly useful application for you to be able to uh, go through and ask for your native media, your locally stored media um, on your um, device to be played effectively from any Amazon Alexa device that you have um, in your network. So very, very handy to be able to do that. It's very intuitive and easy to use. Um, simply add a watch folder. It will go and scan that folder for all your media and pull down all the information of who the artist is, what album it is. Um, you can ask it to say, I want to play track six from a certain album. It's it's very intuitive how you would uh, how you would use it. Um, again, there is a um, a small fee to pay for it as I as I covered there. So four pound fifty for the full year to give the same functionality as this free trial that I'm using. Um, so it's uh, it's going to be in the App Center hopefully very soon. Um, so it's uh, if you do want to try it though, as I said, there is a download button on their website. And it takes you to the download if you wanted to have a quick uh, seven day trial of this to to play it. And there's a ARM version as well as uh, sort of the Intel AMD x86 version as well. So there's there's options for, for, for most of the QNAP NAS there. Um, if anybody does have any questions, please do let me uh, know in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Um, if anybody has any comments for any other videos, please do let us know also down in the comment section below. Okay, and um, thanks a lot, and uh, have a good Christmas and a happy new year. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.